Hello Church, my name is Mario Bolivar from Skinny Atlas Presbyterian Church. Thank you for watching. Today is day 13 of our Lent study called Be Holy by Brian Coulter. And today we read Colossians 1 verse 21 to 23. And in there you will find a part that says, He has now reconciled in his fleshly body through death, so as to present you holy and blemishless and irreproachable before God. And today I wanted to share with you that our journey through our Lent study is not a journey of suffering. It's not about you taking something that you treasure for 40 days so you go back to it after the end of the 40 days. The journey of Lent is a journey that leads to the cross. And not only to that cross, but to the victory of Christ for eternal life over death. That, was, that journey was not an easy journey for him. And Lent is not also an easy journey for us. It's not appealing, but yet it's a journey of self-discovery, a journey of everlasting life. The call to be holy is a call of reconciliation. It's a call that began with God, and it's a call that will end with God. It's a call that it was not made because you did something, but it's a call that benefits you as you achieve eternal life by grace and by the trust that you have in Jesus Christ. Our journey to Lent is a call to reconcile with our call to where God is calling us to where God wants us, and where can we experience Christ. See, I almost didn't make this video. It is kind of late. We just came back from Ohio. It was inconvenient to make the video. But, you know, talking to Mel, I said, these videos are not just about doing something. They're not homework. They're not because of me, and they're especially not because of you. They are because this is how I am experiencing Lent. It is an exercise that I do to proclaim my faith and point perhaps you to the one that matters. With this knowledge, I say that be holy is a call to reconcile with God. It's a call that begins with God and ends in the salvific acts of Christ. And what you have to do, and what I have to do, and what the church has to do, is to acknowledge that call, and to receive the call. And so with this we say, God in Christ, help me respond to the call of reconciliation. As you find me, blamelessness because of Christ's sacrifice. Until next time, be blessed.